Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you the full guide of how to set up the PXN V9 on Windows 11. First is the steering wheel. You can turn it left and right, and you can switch it to 900 degrees or 270 degrees. Next are the pedals. You can fold them out like this. But yeah, that's basically it. Next is the H pattern shifter and then the table clamps for the steering wheel. Now we are gonna connect the clamps to the steering wheel. Get the clamps and then attach this, these two little things over there like that and then push it up. Oh, oops. Put it on and then push it up like that and then for the other one the same thing like this now the steering wheel is ready to connect to the table after it is clamped just make sure that the steering wheel won't move that much so then it's anchored to the table Next up is the shifter. Just clamp it down to the table, just like this. And now make sure it's steady. Now take the wire and put it into the back of the steering wheel. Put it only into the one that looks like the shifter has like some sort of sign just put it right into there like that now do the same thing for the pedals and it's ready now i'll be showing you guys how to calibrate the steering wheel and test it and all that stuff so basically what you want to do first is hit the windows key then go to settings, then Bluetooth and devices, view more devices, and then scroll down until you see more devices and printer settings. Just click on that. Now, this is the PXN V9 and it's on X input mode. We're going to be testing it out to see if the keys actually work, so... You're just going to right-click, Game Controller Settings, and then Properties. If this doesn't have three bars right here, and if it only has two, I'll show you how to fix that after this. For right now, I'll show you. So, right now I'm turning the steering wheel right. And it's on 900 degrees and left now just to test it out I'm gonna switch it to 270 degrees and it goes a lot faster now I switch it back and I'm gonna press the throttle as you can see the z-axis is working and now I'm gonna press the brake and then the clutch. So it's working. Then I'm gonna press the um, the arrows. This is top arrow, bottom arrow, um, left and right. And all the buttons. So this is Y, it's number four, it's three, like these. Just check them like that. And then this is the shifter. So now we are going to um, switch to D input because it has more controls and we can test out if our steering wheel works. But yeah, anyways. So I'm gonna close this and what you're going to do is on your steering wheel right below the red the red light um you're going to see mode 
So you're gonna hold that for uh, three seconds. One, two, and three. And once you've done that, now it will like turn into a keyboard symbol or something. Yeah, it will like a keyboard sign. And if it's not working for you and and you have only like two bars, here's what you're gonna do. You are going to download this. So how to download that? You are going to go to Microsoft Edge or Google or whatever. You're going to type in e-pxn.com. Once you go there, you're going to go to Support, Tools. Oh, But anyways, you go to here, or you can just put in this link. I'll put it in the description. I'll put this in the description for you to go to. But basically, just scroll all the way down until you see this. You press download. Then this will happen want to do just press um i think open i think all right now take take it and put it right out here like that you're gonna it's just gonna be out there and then it's gonna look like this And then you just press update and then it updates it and then if you once it's once you press update and it's finished and it's finished updating you're gonna go back to here game controller settings properties and then you'll see three bars and everything will be nice okay now you just do the same thing as I said before. Press on mode for three seconds and will turn into a keyboard, a keyboard symbol or whatever. And that's the input mode. But uh, yeah. But um, now we are going to do the same thing for the input. Just right, right click that again, and then game controller settings properties and then it'll look something like this <laughs> so same thing up and down arrow and you can even do both which will be like kind of like a both of them and then y y and x y y and x is four and one b and a is Three and two. Um, L one, L two, and L three is five, seven, and eleven. R one, R two, and R three is six, eight, and twelve. Um, so I already pretty much calibrated these already. Um, but this is what it'll look like after you calibrate them. I'll show you how to do that. So, um, for the shifter, it should be like in order. Like, uh, gear 1 should be 17, gear 2, 18, and then 3, 19, and then so on, 20, and 21, and then 22. And that's how you know it's calibrated. But, basically, um... Now I'll show you how to calibrate it. Uh, if it's like not like, like if these are wrong, like, or like this, Y and X, if it's not like four and one or B and A, if it isn't like three and two, then uh, to do that, you have to press and hold program for three seconds. And then once it's blinking, just like before, um, 
you press and hold options for four seconds and then it should reset but um yeah and then that's basically it the right paddle on the on the steering wheel like behind the steering wheel it should be so the right one should be 15 and the other one should be 14 and just like i said for the shifter all of them should be correct and on the shifter there's a low and high thing so the low and high should be 24 both switches and the p's for parking that should be 16 and then just like these y and x b and a and then the arrows the throttle the brake and the clutch the clutch should be the thing going down and the steering and yeah that's pretty much it so just check that and now once that is done um just close these so now everything is pretty much almost checked just close them you don't need this anymore so now what you're going to do is you're going to get the app on your phone it's called v9 tools um let me show it right now here we go all right so it's called v9 tools you just download it on the app store for some reason on the app store it's uh let me show you v9 tool It looks like this. I don't know why it's not in English. Basically, you just download it. Basically, you just download it. And it's right here. Just open the app. Um, detect. So just press yes. And you have to have Bluetooth on, by the way. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And you can even go to testing and check the steering wheel value. And then you can even switch it to 270, like the test from before. And the clutch, the brake, and the accelerator. And you can even check the buttons on here too. And you can even change them, which is pretty cool too. Like if you're playing a different game and you want to change the key binds, you can change the A button to like um, something on your keyboard. Or like something but yeah and this just shows the games you can play I'm pretty sure and if you press like open on here then it then you can just press apply but I think this one is a different game this is a settle Corsa something else but for uh, just a normal settle Corsa I just use D input but if you want to like um, change like the key binds or something can go to the home page and you can change the um you can change like the y button to um h and now that will uh press the h button like when you pr press y on the steering wheel it'll press uh the key h on your windows to 11 but yeah and if you w ever want to reset it you can press reset at the bottom here and that's it so right now at the top right here this shows you your D input and you can even switch to so if you want to switch you don't have to hold mode for three seconds you can do it on the app and you can even test the vibration you can middle high or low or off so how I did vibration was um I basically just I'm pretty sure I just reset it I just reset the wheel a couple times on the app. Um but yeah, that's pretty much it. Your PXN is pretty much set up, I'm pretty sure. If you guys have any questions, um just put it in the comments if there's anything I forgot or anything I need to tell you. But anyways, thank you for watching.
I'll see you guys next time.